Hey Linda, you must be ashamed for your action. <laughs> What the hell? Are you gone crazy? How dare you are to contact me again with your guilty face? <laughs> guilty? Don't say that word from your filthy mouth. <laughs> Look Max, everything has a limit. So, don't cross your limits. Now tell me, what do you want from me? <laughs> I don't want anything from you. Give me the assets that you stole from my parents. <laughs> That's nothing to do with me. It's all on your parents' decision. If you want to argue about this, go and argue with them. Don't disturb my peace. Hey Linda, I asked them already, but they told me to apologize to you. That's why I'm contacting you now. <laughs> Do you want me to forgive for your sin? Shut up. I don't call it as a sin. It's a normal. What the f? Are you saying cheating is normal? Yeah. What a joke. I think the aftermath of our divorce gave you the mental trauma. <laughs> trauma? To be honest, I'm enjoying my life with my wife now. Mhm. Then Now why are you begging me for the assets? What? Begging? Hey Linda, are you out of your mind? That assets belongs to my parents. So after them, all of them belongs to me. Oh, okay. Then go and ask them. They will give you the assets that you want. <laughs> hey, look Linda, don't make joke on me. Joke? Oh, poor Max. Are you afraid to see their face after cheating? I'm not afraid of anyone, but they are acting like crazy persons. <laughs> but they are not crazy. They are super religious. Yeah. They are calling me as a sinner. And they even said that God is going to give them hell for giving birth to a child like me. <laughs> yeah. I am not religious but honestly they should be ashamed for having a son like you. Hey, shut up Linda. It's true Max, you are a sinner who cheated on your wife. Hey Linda, to be honest, I don't have any feelings on you. That's why I fell in love with your friend. It's not love, it's pure lust because she cheated his husband and abandoned her 2-year-old daughter. And in another side there is a grown adult idiot who cheated on his wife after 15 years of happy married life and abandoned his children like the stray dogs in the streets so don't call that shit as a love it's pure lust oh my god you are taking lessons more than my parents <laughs> anyway tell my parents to give the assets to me I will give you 25% because I need money to live my life. <laughs> Sorry Max, I can't do that. They already disowned you like you did to our children. So, as a respectable grandparents, your mom and dad wrote the will in favor of our children. Hey Linda, at least ask them to give my job back at their company. Look Max, to be honest, you're an idiot. They will kill you if they know that you are talking to me. So, I can't ask them for any favors. Hey, Linda, please, my wife is pregnant now and I'm jobless. Please help us. Tell me parents about my situation. This is a joke. Don't you understand why you and your wife are not getting any job in this town? No? Why? <laughs> Actually, your parents are using their influence against you and your wife. What? But why are they doing like that? It's simple. They are seeing you as a symbol of shame for their family. So, they are trying hard to move you out from this town. So, if they know soon that you are going to homeless, they will be very happy. So, I suggest you to run out from this town. Oh my god. They are acting like an heartless creatures against their one and only here. To be honest, it's all your fault max they are 100% against you so i suggest you to move out from this town 
and don't contact me again bye